Have you ever heard of a shipwreck that held a secret far more valuable than gold or jewels? In the year 1900, divers exploring an ancient Roman wreck off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera made a discovery that would baffle scientists for over a century. Buried among statues and pottery was a lump of corroded bronze, which at first looked like just another piece of debris. But as it was cleaned, something incredible emerged, a complex system of interlocking gears and dials. This device now known as the Antikythera mechanism has been called the world's first analog computer. Dating back to around 100 BC, it's a masterpiece of ancient engineering. What did it do? It was an astonishingly advanced astronomical calculator. By turning a hand crank, the user could predict the positions of the sun, moon, and the five planets known at the time. It could even forecast eclipses and track the four-year cycle of the ancient Olympic Games. Here has the mind-blowing part. The level of miniaturization and complexity of its 30-plus bronze gears was thought to be impossible for that era. Nothing even close to its sophistication would appear again in history for over a thousand years until the astronomical clocks of medieval Europe. The gears were cut with such precision, some having teeth just a millimeter long, that they could model the irregular orbit of the moon, a concept known as the first lunar anomaly. How could an ancient civilization create something so advanced? This raises so many questions. Was the Antikythera mechanism a one-of-a-kind creation from a forgotten genius, an Archimedes-level inventor whose work was lost to time? Or does it hint at a much more widespread but now lost tradition of high-tech ancient engineering? We're still piecing together its secrets, using advanced X-ray scanning to peer inside its corroded fragments. Each new discovery only deepens the mystery of how our ancestors managed to map the heavens with a machine that simply should and have existed. What other technological wonders might still be lying dormant, waiting to be found in the depths of the sea or sands of time? What do you think? Was this the work of a lone genius or a forgotten technological age?